Is, is it recording? Hello, M my name is Paul Sandberg. I, I am a weather report man t t t today. Um, uh, today for the forecast is half and half day. It's like an overcast. It's like a, 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 a dark cloud and a, a blue sky. And, and also, also the rain and snow and the storms, they are always a possible because they are not always, always right. The weather is not always Right, it's not that perfect like everyone. So, have a great, awesome show ever. <laughs>talking about the title for our documentary about your awesome haircut and when you wanted to give me the haircut okay so what are a couple of your first ideas about what we should call it well the first one is going to be the uh buzz cut yeah all over, all over my head yeah um a buzz cut mullet um i like the motor uh north i make on my shaver um of, of my, my head and stuff Oh yeah, it, it sounds like a uh, kind of B noise or the mosquito noise or something.
and she first gives him a cupcake from a tent that had blue frosting all over it. The color reminds him of home, which makes him feel better, and then he eats it. He explains all he wants is companionship because he wasn't treated fairly when he was younger. Poor fellow. The cheeseburger tells him, I will be your friend, and the avatar was overjoyed and wrapped his long arms around him. And then they both head home to the cheeseburger's house and were friends to the end. These, these characters? Yeah, and, and bring up the microphone. Sure, uh, the cheeseburger is nice and caring. He's nine feet tall. He's very patient. Holds a sign says to be happy. Doesn't give up on anyone. And gives chocolate ca- cupcakes to everyone. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a nice guy, huh? Yeah. Does he have clothes? Of course, he wears a suit. But he's very nice. He just has a large and scary appearance. And bring, would, uh, what? Why are you chocolate cupcakes again? Because those are my favorite kind of cupcakes. And here's the avatar. He has rage issues. He's the same height as the cheeseburger, but much stronger. Sad and feels alone. Can get very physical, but has a gentle side. Lonely, but can you blame him? He's the only avatar in the city. Introducing cooking with Yoda in the galaxy far, far away. What, Yoda? What are we making today? We're going to make a chocolate cake with a green jagaba frosting. Well, I've got all the ingredients ready here. Can you? Where are you from? Well, I, I am from the swamp called Jagaba. So right now, Yoda, what we're gonna we've got all our wet ingredients right here and we've got all of our dry ingredients. Should we mix them up together in this KitchenAid? Do you have KitchenAids on Dagobah? Yes. So you have one in your little cave? Yes, I do in my cave. How old are you? Nine hundred years later. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to mix this real quick, and then we're going to need our bunt pans. Um, how, what are your thoughts on making some green icing? What do you think we should add to it? Pesto sauce. Pesto icing sauce. Yeah, I'm going to mix this right now. It's going to get a little loud. birthday, Yoda? Um, it, it, it was fabulous. I love to parties. Um, I just had a, a, a green beers. <laughs> you do? Green beers. Everything green. Yeah, I love green so much. Okay, so I think we're ready for the bunt pan. What got you into cooking, Yoda? Well, um, well, it's fun to cook, and, I, and also I love to be dirty. Yes, I do, because listen, I love to be dirty, because I take a shower every day. Really? I do, in the swamp? Or in? Or do you have fresh water? A both. Oh, okay. Um, so we need to pour this evenly into each bunt pan. Can you handle that? Mm-hmm. I'll take this guy for you. Okay. What kind of music do you like, Yoda? Well, I do like dark 
time for music. What's the dark side music? Can you give us a little rendition of one of your favorite songs? Well? Do you have Kesha on Dagobah? Yes. Can you sing a little TikTok for us? Wake up in the morning and have a seat to say, uh, put my money in my pocket as a Tuesday. Kesha, Kesha goes to all planets. That's awesome. All right, so I think we're good to go. We need to stick these in the oven. Is that the next step? Yes, this is the next step. So you've just eaten the cake. How does it taste? It tastes so good. It tastes like a green tiger bath swamp. The recipe is so good and weird. So thanks for for to watch my film. The force be be with you always. You don't know of our power of the dark side. We just anger anger say hey hey this is summer, right? <laughs> take a picture already? Yes, I did. What is it of? Paul. It's a portrait? Yeah, it's a portrait. Hey, Alex, have you taken a picture already? I, I took two so far. What are they of? Like one of Paul and Anna so far. Do you want us out of the way, Alex? Yeah. Okay. Entire bike, I got the entire bike in the shot. I had to set down this little set, of, set of stairs here and take the picture. What's unique about the bike? It's old, you know. It, it shows character, you know. It shows how much he's been through, you know. In what way does it show that? It's old. It's it. The frame is like rusted and whatnot. I got a good idea. Here, take a picture of me and and the window. I take a picture of the 34 on the uh, wall there. You take a picture of the 34? Yeah, the 34 on the wall. So, what do you want to take a picture of, Paul? A two people of Anna and Lindsay. Girls over here. Okay, uh, on three. One, two, three. Perfect. So I took a, a second double thing. A double exposure? Yeah. What is the double exposure of? Well, I'm pizza of the bay house. And I put it into two. What do you think it'll look like? I don't know. So you like group shots of people? Yes, group shots of staff, and the next one be group shot of students, and, and all together. Hey, Paul, why do you like taking pictures of people? Because I love people. Where do you want us, Paul? Um, how about, um, in the uh, sun, a bit between these cars. In between those two cars? Yes. Okay. Yes. You want the cars in the picture? Of course. Lizzie, Anna... Tim, Mary, Nat, and Tony. Um, go to a car so I take you guys pictures. Then I take pictures of friends. Okay. On this, say step. One, two, three. Step. Perfect. I took a picture of it looking at, looking at, a, at, a, at an angle view. Where it says it this way, and I did the same thing, but going the other way. I'm gonna make it a huge, huge, huge ass picture, and I'm gonna put it right on my door, so it looks like my door is a gateway to like the park garage. It's gonna look good. Sounds good. Oh, I was thinking of, of, of Papa Valency. That's a song by Eddie Gaga. I was thinking of of that that song that Alex did. They put that in the video of Papa Flossy. What shot? Of the parking garage? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's gonna sum up. What was that? My head. What about your head? What Alex did. 
What did he do? He gave a, a moose ears. Yeah. A moose ears. I, I don't do a self portrait. I don't. Why not? I do people. I, I don't do Paul. What did you just take a picture of, Amy? What? Well, mail truck. You took a picture of the mail truck? Yeah. Okay, I am I am interviewing Amy with her new picture as she made. So tell me about your picture. A long time ago, I went water rafting with my mom and my sister. It was so fun. We um, dragonflies landed on me. Whole bunch of them, dozens of them. Uh, okay. Um. Well. Um. How oh, how old are the dragon flies? I don't know. Um. Um. Do they bite? No, they don't bite. Um. Do they sting? No. Are they n- n- nice and 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 beautiful? Yeah, they're beautiful. Why? Why? My mom couldn't believe her eyes. They landed all over me. Just me. I think it's a, it's um, good luck and everything. How big are they? How big are they? Five inches. Um, well, I, I've seen it, these f- flies before. I, I think they look like like 12 inches w- wide, I think. Okay, um... So, are there any more questions? Are, are, are you all set? All set. Okay. This is uh, Channel 2 News, and I will see you on the TV. <laughs> historic house in Putnam, Maine. The Eggerham House was built in 1800. Behind the house, a mysterious building called the, the Carol's House. I wanted to know what's inside the Carol's House. I went to the library and talked to the historian. Abraham Sector. He told me about the Great Fire and the history of old maps. So this is the 1866 map of the city, the Great Fire at Portland, July 4th. So the West End did not burn in the Great Fire. Even High Street was spared. The Carol's house is so old because it did not burn down in in a fire. Do you think that it's haunted? Um, I really don't know. I interviewed people at the Eggerham House. Okay, we play live at Eggerham House. I'm gonna interview Trevor Dale Crane. When the the house was being built in the Paris House, were you? Here, and they did the Carrots House. No, I wasn't born yet. It was built in the early 1800s. Owned by Captain Robert Abraham. Uh, okay. Um. Do you think this house is haunted in the Carrots House? Mm, yeah. Sometimes it's, you can hear noises in the carriage house is haunted. 
can hear noises upstairs on and you can hear Captain Abraham's ghost the door open by itself is shut and you can hear him out there rattling around again at Abraham house I'm here with Jean Tinkham Tink 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 <laughs> do you think that you were here when the house in the Kiros house was being built. No, that was a lot before my time. Okay, um, since that the Kiros house is put up, what do you think um what's in inside it? I think they're using it for storage. Well, how about um Michael Jackson's nose dead? Animals, dead horses, dogs. No, nothing like that. There's some live squirrels in there and some pigeons. pigeons. Have you heard anything about the the house itself being haunted? No, but I think if it is haunted, it's haunted by good ghosts. Okay, um, thank you, Jean. You're welcome. We're playing live at Eggerham House. Okay, I'm here with Lindsay Mercer. Hi. Hi. Um, how long have you been looking here? Five years. Um, do you think the, the Kira's house is haunted? No, I haven't been in there enough to ever hear anything strange or see anything strange. Thank you, Lindsay. You play live at a Grim House. I'm here with Rosie Cartello. Did you say it right? <laughs> um, I have a picture of Abraham House. Yeah, it's not haunted. Um, what do you think about the ghost of Abraham? That's Captain Abraham. He built the house. Okay, um, what do you think is in the Kara's house? Probably junk. Well, how about some dead cockle spaniels? Um, Michael Jackson's nose? Uh uh. No. How about dead humans? Cookies? That's my dog's name. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Ozzy, again, live at Ikram House. Thank you. <laughs>